Hello everyone. Many of you asking for circuit and control system important questions. Here are some of the important questions from last three modules, three, four, five. Define control system and uh, differentiate between open loop and closed loop systems. This is the very important question. You can see in previous question papers of control system with the subject name control system uh, which is the previous uh, scheme question papers you can easily get these questions which are very important and also reduction of this block diagram and list the steps to reduce the block diagram and find the overall transfer function these kind of questions will be there for sure in exam and draw the signal flow graph for the system of equations given below find the overall transfer function this kind of question also uh, will be there in exam for sure but don't depend on these values or expressions or the equations given here this is just an example or the question taken from the other uh, question papers and you can see here using Monson's gain formula you need to find C of S by R of S they have given the uh, figures here and define the terms used in the signal flow graph like a node source node non-touching loops dummy node feedback loop path gain loop gain like that and find the transfer function of the system whose signal flow graph is given so they have given the signal flow graph you need to find the transfer function so these kind of questions you can expect from module 3 and from module 4 derive the step input response of a first order system step input response you need to derive and derive the expression for c of t of an underdamped second order system for a unit step input derive the ramp input response of a first order system Determine the range of K for uh, stability of unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is given here using uh, Routes stability criteria and comment about the stability of the control system represented by the uh, following characteristic equation given and the step response of a second order underdamped unity feedback system is shown in the figure of an input of 2 U of T determine the open loop and closed loop transfer functions so this is the kind of question you may get in module 4 and also you can see 13 questions starting from the output expression c of t derive the expressions for rise time uh, set settling time peak time peak overshoot of an under under damped uh, second order system subjected to unit step input and unity feedback system forward path transfer function is given determine the following quantities if it is subjected to unit step input rise time peak time so you may get questions on finding the rise time and deriving the expression for rise time settling time or you need to find those one question will be there on that and unity feedback control system as a open loop transfer function of this again find the rise time uh, percentage overshoot peak time settling time for a step input of 12 units so uh, practice these uh, problems on these topics don't depend on the particular problem given over here and coming to module 5 given the transfer function sketch the root locus uh, you need to sketch the root locus here they have given the transfer function and for the given transfer function calculate the angle of asymptotes and centroid for the given transfer function determine the coordinate for valid breakaway point and for the given transfer function the OTLF is given by this sketch the complete root locus as k is varied from 0 to infinity so these are the kind of questions they have given here in this uh, document from module 3 4 5 and module 1 2 I didn't get it if I get the important questions from module 1 and 2 I am going to upload thank you don't depend on these uh, particular equations or problems these are just examples the same way questions will come in exam you need to practice by taking other examples from the textbook or the notes which your um, professors has given thank you very much